I spy my eye on something behind Mariano Rivera there. Let's go take a look. it's a winter wonderland outside we are heading off to the first collector fest of 2023 at the new york state fairgrounds let's go on over and find some treasures all right so we are in and as you can see there's definitely not as many people here as the last time uh, that we were at this collector fest so uh, we're still gonna walk around there's uh, lots of square footage and you never know, we still might find something along the way. There's stuff down there as well. So let's start looking. So that's the entrance straight down there. But just to give you a sense of how dead it is here uh, today, you could see this whole spot last time was filled with vendors. And if you remember, down here was where I found the TARDIS and all the Ghostbusters stuff, but uh, just totally totally dead right now it's freezing cold out right now so this just may uh be difficult for the people organizing the event to get vendors willing to come out and set up wow all right i spy my eye on something behind mariana rivera there we've got a snake mountain and a castle gray skull let's go take a look all right so this is battery powered for the microphone i don't know if it works. Uh, probably doesn't have a, a battery in it right now. No, there's no, no battery as you can see. So we'd have to test it out later. Uh, but it does have the netting, uh, which is often ripped up and stuff. So that's nice. It has uh, part of the bridge. Someone could find a replacement piece for this if they don't have all the bridge pieces. Um, you've got the snake. Which is, which is great, so you always look for the snake. There we go. Um, it's got the stickers on the base, which is nice as well. A lot of times those are ripped up, so they do have that. They have the, the flap here, which is, which is also nice. So, got that. For the actual Castle Grey Skull, This looks nice. Nice outer shell. So we've got the throne, which is nice. We've got the elevator, which goes over here. We've got the trap door with the sticker on it. We have all of the parts for the armory, which are nice. And this is the gun that goes on the uh, on the top here, there's supposed to be a piece that this would rest on. But there's all sorts of inner components inside, which are nice. Uh, including, actually, if you look, including extras. So, like, here, check this out. So, I showed you this earlier. There's the door, and then... We have a replacement door right here. And then here's another thing. So right on the bottom of this, there's a piece that helps to move the trap door here. So what happens is that when you attach the, the throne to it and you turn it, then that's going to make the trap door open like that. So underneath it, you can see there's this plastic piece, and we have extras in here that would serve as replacements. If someone doesn't have one of the components, there's extras in here. Let's see here like here's another example there's an extra right here look at that 
Nice extra. This is nice. Uh, nice extras. This would not. This is not actually part of Castle Grayskull, but you have things like the point dread that would fit into here. Uh, we have another piece of the uh, castle over here. It's just one half. And you might wonder, why would someone just buy one half? Well, if they're missing one half of their castle, if it got damaged or something, this could serve as a replacement. So yes, you could just sell half of a castle gray skull. And then the other cool thing is you have the bag with all of these different accessories. And so people are looking for these to match up with their particular characters, this uh, serpent staff. And there's Orko's hat. You can see that on the bottom. People will just pay up for Orko's hat or the serpent staff. Um, so there's just so many different weapons that you can match up to different characters. And um, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's see how much they want for everything. All right, so you may remember who selling me this. We saw her last time at the fairgrounds. It's one and only Erin from Blue Eyes Auction. She's going to get famous on the channel now. So you're my saving grace today because, my gosh, it's almost all sports cards. I mean, so I'm really looking more for stuff like this. And I'm so happy you have this. So we've got the castle and the bin and the snake mountain. And how much do you want for everything? We're asking 100 $100 for everything. All right, I'm not, you've been so nice to me before. I'm not even going to haggle with you today. I'm just going to pay it $100 for everything, all right? So yeah. we could prove it. We documented it. Um, we're just going to do a straight up deal for $100 because you saved my day today. Um, how are things going uh, with you on Facebook? We're with doing your... really good. We moved our auctions from Saturday to Friday night, so we're on Facebook. Uh, we do 20 items every Friday night at 9 o'clock. They all start at $5. It's Blue Eyes E-Y-E-Z auction, and uh, we look forward to getting some new members. Yeah, a lot of people from my channel, you went out and you checked them out, and uh, yes. I really recommend them. Now we have a lot more people who have subscribed, a thousand people subscribed in the past week. So definitely go on That's over, awesome. check out Blue Eyes Auctions. They are incredible, Thank and I'll put, I'll put a link to them in the description section. So uh, And you can see great deals like this, a really great deal. So um, yeah, there's more of that to be found on their sites, and they do, you ship every... We ship, we ship everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do all kinds of toys, uh, yep. sports cards, comics, antiques sometimes. Yep. Yep. We do awesome. It all. Awesome. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, Aaron, and um, I'm you. happy to make the deal with you. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. All right. So, thank goodness for Aaron. She totally saved the day with the Castle Gray Skull, all those awesome accessories, and the Snake Mountain. We'll go home to Primetime Treasure Headquarters, test it out, see if it works. So, cross our fingers for that. But, you know, I was expecting more toys here today. And so what we've got to do is we've got to find some place, somewhere, that has a bunch of toys. Some place that has more toys than I've ever seen before. Where could that be? Stay tuned. Well, I think this will be the place. This is the Village Gate Toy Show. Two floors dedicated to toys, comics, and all sorts of collectibles. So let's head on in. Open sesame. <laughs> no admission, so that's awesome. And uh, we've got a lot to look at here. So this is kind of funny. This is the first thing I came across here. And uh, you might remember me picking this up at the a big toy haul that I did at the beginning of the year. 
So uh, it's just funny to see it here. I sold it pretty quickly, but uh, it's Keldor as part of the Origin series with uh, Trapjaw. Definitely neat and a cool piece, but you can see the price on it. Some nice comments here. What's the condition on the Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number eight? How much, what's the condition on that? This one? Yeah. yeah. 50. Is there, can I see it? Is there anything wrong with it? Any flaws or anything? It's a low grade. It's a low grade? Yeah. That's okay. Right, yeah. All right. Let's take a look. There's a crease right there. Yeah, there's a crease. Okay. All right. Do you mind if I take it out or do you, do you want to take it out? I just want to take a look inside. Do you mind taking it out? I go forward. Okay. Could you take it out for me so I could just see? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Especially when dealing with comics, I ask people to take it out because yeah, um, I know, yeah. sometimes you know, people don't yeah. want the customers handling it. So Okay. Yep. yep. No problem. Okay. So this is definitely a great book to get. Um, it does have some wear on it. But for 40 bucks, cannot pass up on a Secret Wars number eight. Well, here we are again, and as you can see, Erin is hard at work at the uh, toy show here in Rochester. I'm not going to bother her this time, because she's busy tending to all these customers, and you can see how many people there, there are here. But um, she not only has toys, she does have comics, and uh, I'm looking through here. These are reprints, if you ever found the original, uh, they're worth a lot of money. But uh, I was digging through and found something interesting uh, down here on the bottom which is a nice stack of Eastman and Laird's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, how to draw them, how to draw them. And there's a bunch of them in here. Uh, these retail really well, so I think they're just a few bucks a piece. So um, we're gonna pick up this nice stack. I think there's like five of them in there, so that's cool. Uh, we've got uh, G.I. Joe Marvel. Eric Rocks loves these. That's Destro right there. So we're going to pick this up because I know he would love it or someone else would. Pinhead. If you ever see Pinhead from Hellraiser in comic book form, it always sells really well. Every single time. And this one's cool because it has embossing on it. It's really neat. Uh, it's got a foil uh, component to it as well. So really cool. you got a foil embossing of Pinhead through Marvel Epic. So we're going to grab of these and keep looking see what else we can find here just showing you some of the toys here these are masters of the universe figures for the most part some teenage mutant ninja turtles as well i saw these last week she had these set up and then this one's really cool i love this one this is the job of the hut action play set uh, 200 bucks on it though but uh, really cool to see some of these nice vintage star wars toys in the box we got the witch set that's pretty cool 40 bucks on that a lot of stuff all right so i'll show you what i just pulled out of this box you'll see a lot of these say curse of the spawn and um there's like spawn the dark ages but what you're really looking for are original spawns now some of these have a price tag on them but the ones that aren't priced are usually two bucks or three bucks um, some of them will say two bucks on it but we are looking for our original spawn right there with nothing else on it and so there's a bunch of them here and i'm going to pick all of these up so this is the advantage of digging through the boxes you get some good deals like this i actually just had a record-breaking uh, show on whatnot with spawn it's so popular and um, I, I just love grabbing these. And so, you know, finding them for this price is really good. I probably could get even a little bit better of a deal given that I'm buying a lot of them. So, you know, we've got a lot of ones that are early in the run, including a number two. So, and they look like they're in excellent condition. Uh, this one says seven bucks on it, but you know, we'll see. Um, you know, a few more here as well. So, we'll just grab the stack. That's Violator, by the way, if you ever see them. So always pay attention when you're doing these digs because you never know when you're going to find something that has a signature on it. Look at that right there. 
So that's definitely cool. A signed piece for like two bucks, that's awesome. So we're gonna add this into the stack. Oh, look at that. It also has a certificate of authenticity on the back. That's an added bonus from Midtown Comics. So really sweet. So this is another example when you're looking through comic books. Pay very close attention to detail because look up top, we've got another signature right here. So it's another signed comic and we're gonna add this one to the stack. No certificate of authenticity on this one, but we'll add it right over here. And when there's smoke, there's fire, because here we've got another one right here as well. This is awesome. Maybe there's more in this box. <laughs> Look at this, there is. And you see, sometimes you have to turn it, and sometimes they get easily missed because it sort of camouflages. If you look at that with the black ink there, you know, if you look real quick, you could see how something like that just gets missed. But, uh, wow, that really is great. We got another signed comic. And we've got some Harley Quinn. Oh, this is sweet. I love bringing these to uh, my WhatNot shows. If you're not following me on WhatNot, please do. It's Primetime Treasure. I do a comic auction every Wednesday and Saturday. And this is Primetime also auctions there as well. This is one of my favorites. I love this cover so much. Um, yeah, she's on Sundays at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. This is a great holographic uh, cover. There's motion on it. Uh, it's really nice. And so you can see the, the little dress there moving back and forth with the Joker. So I, I love picking up Harley Quinn. So, oh my gosh, she's just so popular. So I'm just gonna just keep grabbing all these Harleys. The Joker's daughter. I'm gonna keep going after these Harley Quinns. Let's see how many are in here. All right, so here's a few more I pulled out of here. I like the special edition. <laughs> And so they always put Harley Quinn in all these interesting outfits and stuff. And uh, the covers are just so cool. Uh, also look for Suicide Squad because she's part of Suicide Squad. So you could uh, find a lot of Harley Quinn uh, covers on Suicide Squad books as well. So this is another good uh, example right here. So we'll grab this one too. I love looking for vintage Wonder Woman. And this is a great one here, especially with a dragon on it shooting fire out of his nostrils. So sweet, we're gonna grab this one too. All right, I love Swamp Thing, and uh, I always joke this is me and this is prime time. I actually have, you might remember me sourcing it in our prior video, I actually have a sign hanging up in prime time treasure headquarters of this, and so I, I always grab it when I see it. Looks like it's in great shape, just two bucks, easy decision. All right, so here we go. Here's a box of Mad Magazines, and some of these have individual prices on them, like 15 and 20 bucks. I'm gonna pass on those. Uh, some of these are modern Mad. I'm gonna pass on those as well. What I'm really looking for is what I pulled out here, which are these vintage Mad Magazines that don't have a price on it. So she told me we're just gonna do a bulk deal on everything uh, at the end. So you're looking for ones from, mainly from the 1980s and earlier. Some from the 90s aren't bad either, but this is just classic. I remember having this as a kid. Uh, put a note in the comment section if you have this one. I love this one with Andre Holt, Elizabeth, Randy and Macho Man Savage. It's awesome. And you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Whenever you have these iconic characters, see, this is a 90s one, but this is worth getting because it's early 90s and you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on it and it's still, it has a nice vintage look to it. So, you know, I, I'm not opposed to getting some 90s ones. 90s stuff is getting more popular now as people, you know, who grew up in the 90s are getting much older. It's starting to become like stuff in the 80s. So more and more, I'll be on the lookout for stuff from the uh, from the 90s, but wow. I came here for toys. I knew there'd be comics, but of course, uh, I'm loading up on a comic book stuff here. All right, so here's some other things I grabbed. Uh, Lady Death, always look for Lady Death. So a couple of those. Vampirella, just had a big Vampirella comic show and whatnot last night, so I'm gonna grab that. But I have to show you something interesting in here uh, that I saw. Here it is, check this out. Daffy Qaddafi. They're you know, doing this to make fun of Muammar Qaddafi, the former, now uh, deceased, he was killed, uh, leader of Libya. All right, total price for everything, $125. So I'm at another area now, but I just wanted to pass something on uh, that I do for folks who uh, purchase from me over on Whatnot, is if they're looking for specific comics, 
um, you know, I'll go out and if I find it, I'll source it and I'll bring it to the show. So a great example is uh, Eric Rocks, and he sent me a list of Avengers books he's looking for. So Avengers 315, Avengers 313. So I'm gonna, gonna pick these up for him uh, during the show. Now, you know, I might have it somewhere in my collection, but uh, by the time I find it, you know, I might find it here first if I'm just happen to be looking. So I'll just pick it up here and um, yeah, just wanted to mention that's something I do. So that's where we came in, uh, down that way. And then it circles around and then there's this corner area here and then it just keeps going and winding around down this corridor over here and then it just keeps expanding onwards so we're just gonna keep walking all right so i'm over at my friend joe's booth i know him from syracuse and uh he always has great deals and i love covers with alligators on it and this is such a nice silver age book here i love it five bucks i mean you just can't miss so um, look at these other comics. These are great. They're all five bucks and under. So nice old Avengers comics and some nice uh, Batman detective comics as well. Uh, five bucks and under. I just sold this one the other day on whatnot, but always nice to pick up another. So good to replenish supply and um, bring these to auction. So very excited to grab these and he'll give me a nice bulk deal on it as well. So yeah, Joe's awesome. He gave me a great deal on these. Uh, normally would have come to $45, but as you can see, I got them all for 30 bucks. Uh, he just offered that price to me as a deal just because you know we know each other and we've done a lot of business over the years. So uh, thanks, Joe. Awesome. All right, so moving right along here, we've got a lot of uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars, that sort of thing. Uh, nothing that I'm really interested in. So we're gonna walk down towards the end of the hallway here and uh, see what awaits us around the corner. I'll double check. All right, finally, we're getting some better lighting. They definitely need to improve the lighting in the beginning. I felt like I was in a dungeon. And uh, I like dungeons and everything, but uh, it's hard when you're trying to you know, get a good visual on the items. So, oh, you can see there, there's a second floor up there. So there's even more toys there, more collectibles. And uh, there's a cool Vampirella poster over there. Check that out. So we're gonna check this out. As you can see, it expands down there as well. So, all right, let's keep looking. Funko Pops, um, if you saw my recent video where I bought hundreds of Funko Pops, I am not interested in buying a single Funko Pop today. <laughs> all right, now that Vampirella poster that you see behind me, it's 72 inches long. It's one of the older ones. Uh, you see it says Vampirella on the top. Uh, later on, they actually took that off. Now he wants a hundred bucks for it, it rolls up, he still has the original tube. I would love it for me, uh, Mrs. Primetime would not appreciate it so much. So, um, someone just tried to sell one on eBay for a hundred bucks plus $15 shipping on auction and it didn't even get any bids. So, as much as I love it, I am gonna leave it here, but I just thought I'd, I'd tell you about it because I'm sure you noticed it in the background. All right, now my son is with me with one of his friends and he told me that he saw some Masters of the Universe, so I'm sure we'll run into that at some point. A lot of the toys here, though, are modern toys, so it's very easy for me to pass those up, especially when they're loose, non-original boxes. So, you know, even though I think they're cool, you know, it's not something I want to invest my money in uh, right now for reselling purposes. Um, but, you know, a lot of them are cool to see. Love seeing big, giant dinosaurs and stuff, Mars attacks. So. We're just gonna keep walking around. All right, so we're gonna head up there soon. Uh, looks like there's a little bit left to see down here. I'm not sure if there's anything down around the corner there. I see a Snake Mountain up top. Wonder how much they want for the Snake Mountain. We'll see. How much is the Snake Mountain? I'm asking 140. 140 for the Snake Mountain? Yeah, it's all there. Okay. Okay. Does it work, the microphone? Yes. Okay. All right. 140. See the price on it. So now you see why I took that great deal from Aaron for $100 last week for the Snake Mountain plus the Castle Grayskull because he's asking well over $100 for just the Snake Mountain. Plus, with Aaron, I wound up getting all those accessories and extra parts as well. 
So when it's an amazing deal like that, you just gotta jump on it. And that's why I didn't even bother negotiating. All right, so I just sourced some great stuff over there at Wonderland Comics, which is a great comic store here in Rochester. I've been to their actual physical location in the past. It's awesome, so I highly suggest checking it out if you haven't already. There's some more toys over there, by the way. Um, but, man, I got a great deal. Let me show you what's in here. So, yeah, this is really a highlight for me to get this Silver Age World's Finest with the Joker on it, Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor. Now, you see the sticker price on there, but just... Keep that in your head for a moment when I tell you what I paid for everything. Um, not only that, look at this. Where Creatures Roam. I love these kind of comics. There's another one called Where Creatures Dwell. There's a lot of old monster comics I love picking up. And this is a number one issue. Uh, got some more adventure stuff for Eric Rocks. So also picked up some early Dazzler. I love this one. You don't normally see this one with the Doctor Doom cover. So I thought that was pretty cool. Picked up a number four. And a number two, a nice old Flash Gordon, Gold Key. A lot of people look for Gold Key comics, so keep your eye out for Gold Key. I love things with monsters on them, and uh, this is just such a cool look with the Flash Gordon. Uh, this one, Fire Breathing Dragon once again. Uh, awesome book. And here we go. Here's a Where Monsters Dwell. Uh, to find these for this price is insane. Uh, it's just very, very difficult to do, and they sell great on eBay. And they would also sell great on whatnot as well. And these are early issues. Look at that. We got Where Monsters Dwell number two and Where Monsters Dwell number three. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 100. So there's some modern stuff as well. Uh, we've got this nice old military book, Sergeant Striker's Death Squad number one issue. And then, um, oh, this is one. A lot of people pass this up, but oh my goodness, you have to see the prices on some of the uh, uh, Millie the Model comics. They go, some of them go for insane amounts of money. So a lot of people pass them up because they think, well, you know, it's not superhero, it's not monsters, it's like a fashion type book, but check out what some Millie the Model comics go for. I pick her up whenever I can find her, especially at this price. Uh, let's see, we've got a Captain Marvel number 50. Great price as well. And then I always look for the uh, Grim Tales of Terror. Anything Grim, Xenoscope. This is a great one uh, right here. Nice uh, nice cover. And then underneath we've got a few more. Let me just reposition these comics so they don't slide off. All right, so another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, another Grim Tales of Terror. And uh, you know I pick these up when I go to estate sales. These are in great shape, the Adventures of uh, Big Boy. So we've got a 211 and then we got two a 228 so you could sell them individually or you could lot them up together I know I'll come across more so I'll probably just build out a little lot with it all right so this is the end down here looks like um, there might be something around the corner I don't know but yeah this is what my son was uh, talking about because I see here we go here's some Masters of the Universe stuff but it's it's modern Masters of the Universe not vintage uh, I even have this Castle Grayskull listed right now for sale my the eBay store, if anyone's interested. I think I just have like a hundred bucks on it. So um, there's just a little bit over here. So let's turn around and head upstairs. All right, so here we go. Let's head up these stairs with my trusty box and see what awaits us. I'm not sure if it's a lot, a little. So never been here before, first time. And let's see, it kind of has like a convention feel up here. Uh, very open. So that's this side of it. And then it goes over here. Okay. So we'll just walk around it and see if we see anything that strikes our fancy. If so, no, no more Funko Pops right now. Oh gosh. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so down there, there's lots of cars, modern toys, you know, a lot of modern toys. So it's just, you know, it makes it easy to focus on, you know, what I'm interested in, which, you know, no surprise for here really turned into comic books. So you can see a lot of people looking for comics here. So I'll come back to that. Uh, there's some more comic dealers here and just a lot of miscellaneous, a lot of Funko dealers and stuff. So, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. You can't buy everything, so you know you focus on what you like and what you have experience with and then you experiment here and there as well that's my general tip 
And no, that's not an original Amazing Spider-Man 129. Yeah, I'll see you guys at Pop Rock soon. All right, so I kind of got stuck <laughs> in this spot right here. You can see this gentleman behind me, Mike. He's uh, adding up the cost for all the books I wound up uh, picking out. That's just some of them. There's a lot more on the table back there that I picked out as well. Uh, some great stuff that I'm going to bring over to whatnot. So I'm real excited. I don't know the total price yet, but um, I'm also kind of up against the clock. So I'm not going to be able to check out every single one of these places because we made a family trip out of it today. And I've got my son, my daughter, Mrs. Primetime. They're out driving around and stuff. But we're going to go out and get some dinner. And so um, Mrs. Primetime gave me the 2 p.m. deadline. So I've got to get out of here by 2 p.m. <laughs> so... Um, that's what happens when you come with other people, folks. Uh, you can't just use your own timeline. So I'm going to uh, get this stuff here, and then we'll check out. All right. All right, everyone. Well, we are going to check out Just Made the Deal. Uh, I thought I was going to get toys here today, but I got no toys, and I am loaded with comics. I just got this entire stack right here. It's mostly all vintage stuff. Uh, total price 157 but for the stuff I got, I mean, it's incredible. So uh, I cannot wait to process this stuff and get it listed on whatnot. All right, Rochester, it's been real. Uh, it's time to head out. I'll definitely come back next year, and hopefully I'll be able to hit up all the tables. But we're going to go out and get a nice family dinner at Dinosaur Barbecue, so time to eat up. Hey, Miss PT. Daisy, you just got a haircut? Look at you! Oh my goodness, look at you! Look how cute! You just got your haircut. You went around? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Daisy? Where are you going? 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 Look at you! Look at your little bow tie! Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, where are you going? Oh my gosh, she's fast! Where are you going? Where's Daisy? There you are. Daisy Cam, look at your... <laughs> look at Daisy hiding underneath. Daisy, come out. Come out, we'll get you. We'll get you, we'll get you, we'll get you. All right, say goodbye to everyone, Daisy. If you like Daisy's haircut, let us know in the comment section. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Take care.